Hello everyone. Right. Today's live stream. Now I know a lot of people on social media are talking about it and I'm going to put all the stuff they're talking about in this video so you can have a listen and see what you think and what you make of what went on. Just a couple of things. Firstly, I'm going to do it a bit differently today. I'm just going to do this introduction and I'm going to let all the stuff just play out and you guys can make up your own mind as to what is going on. But what you'll gather is the meat of this particular live stream was Nathan and Days having a big falling out that resulted in Days getting very upset and crying. Now, you have to piece it together, but as far as I can make out what happened was Khaled was saying something to the group, probably about a decision he made, and then Days corrected the way Khaled was speaking, i.e. she made him feel like he was perhaps not speaking proper English, and corrected his grammar and punctuation from what I can gather, and that led Nathan then to criticise Days, and Days then claimed that he viciously attacked her. So you're going to hear a lot of conversation about that in these clips. There is a moment where Khaled does talk about it too, which I'm sure you'll notice as well. Now we're not sure exactly what decision Khaled made, but as we know from last night's Late and Live, he will be allowed to make a decision that could nominate another housemate for eviction. So it could be that he nominated Nathan. Now whether that information becomes public to the house in tonight's episode, I don't know, but that could have put Nathan in a bit of a bad mood. Although I'm not quite sure why Khaled would nominate Nathan, but there we go. So that's what you're going to see. You'll also see a little bit of Emma making hot chocolate for the kids and talking about her own. The kids is what she calls <laughs> the people fighting in the house. And talking about some of her own little phrases. And at the very end you're going to hear Hannah talking to Ali about what she said to Khaled and how she handled that situation. Now I just wanted to say also that a lot of people online are coming against Ali and saying why did she say that so out of the blue made no sense. But what you've got to remember guys is if you're just watching the episode every night you're getting a tiny tiny amount of what actually happens and so even when you watch the live stream you realize there is so much that happens that they completely ignore for the main episode. If you look back on the live stream videos I've already put up there's tons of stuff in there that never made it to broadcast like the entire talent show last week at the summer camp. There was, there was so much in that. that they, they only showed you Marcello dancing around like Peter Andre. There were, everyone did something. Everyone had a spot. It was much better than what they kind of ended up showing. So you've got to remember also that we are not spending 24-7 in the house and Ali is. So Ali sees much more of Khaled than we see on the screen. She has taken her time to analyse and assess him and that was her opinion. So I think that's why she came out with that and I think it'll all become clear as things move along. Clearly tension is rising in the house, right? It's really rising. Whether this is enough to mean that people will now actually tune in and watch the show, I don't know. But anyway, here's the live stream. Make of it what you will. Hope you enjoy the clips. Just just listen to it and I think you'll work everything out for yourselves. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm just giving you right now yeah. about a conversation of where I felt that you hadn't listened to me before saying something. Before this one. I just told you about one before this one. No, no you didn't. Yes, I have. And we've got cameras. Well, please and remind me, me then. Please I me. Told, just said... In point, but when I said it, it just felt like you just wanted to like disagree with me. I don't, I, I'm, I'm actually a bit shocked, if I'm honest. It's not a bit shocked, I, Nathan. I, like, I'm even not, in this conversation, I literally just gave you an example, and then you're like, about this, and I'm like, you haven't even followed on this conversation, because you're so ready to, like, tell me what I've just said. No, 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 no. But, like, you haven't even listened to me. I have, I've, I've, I have listened, but I'm just a bit shocked, because I'm, I'm surprised um, for you to... Two, you've got, so you've got one and then, the one in the bedroom and then one there. There have been moments that I have felt that. And I felt like, oh God, days, I'm probably just overreacting. This is probably in my head. But that, what felt like quite a vicious attack. It wasn't a vicious me, attack. That, no, that's I'm, very strong What language. has felt to me, and this is what I'm trying to say about the feelings. You might have not meant it as, a, 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 as an attack. A vicious attack you, is a very strong... But you might strong... have not meant... Are you gonna let me finish? I, I, no, I, I I'm saying, I'm, I'm saying, you might have not meant it like that, but that's how I perceived it. To be vicious. It be felt like I was like, whoa, Nathan, where just, have you come into this conversation that I'm having with Gallen? Just to be, just to clarify, vicious attack. I'm saying it did feel vicious. Right. Well, in that case, I feel like that's a very different conversation, and I, one, I think I'm probably not prepared to have for my that's own sake fine. on that one because um, that's fine. when. When all, when I find it quite upsetting, 
to watch someone stand there um, but you had already created a narrative about what was going on that wasn't true, is what I'm trying to tell you. Right. That's what I'm trying but to say. You, and you're I'm you're saying big that on, that's you're happened big on reacting to your own feelings ways. and how you felt about things. That's how I felt. Exactly. Am I, am I allowed to also? Exactly. Okay. Are you allowed to have that feeling? But you, you I'm also allowed a, you, you felt it was a to perceive time. it. It did feel I, I like, felt, what the I hell? Felt like you were, I felt like you were... I have no malice intent like, whatsoever. It, it looked like it. I had so no malice intent whatsoever. I had no malice intent either. I just was feeling for a guy that looked quite vulnerable in that moment, and I thought, no, I think I'll just nip this in the bud. Feeling for a guy who I've been hugging and talking to all day, right. who I've literally just come out of having but I didn't a know long that. I didn't know that. This is what I'm trying to say. I, you should have had But you saw it as, like, she's viciously attacking him. It wouldn't have mattered to me there who would have been saying the words... You were saying to Khaled, I but would I feel in, like not just because it's you. Ali, when Ali was talking, you gave her the chance to Because speak. I know they've got something, I know what, I, I know there's a, something there's else there. there's just, But then, just, like, 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 when you know, I was doing, which there is nothing else there but literally pure love, this guy held me as I cried yesterday. Mm. So it's like, I know for a fact that he knows I wouldn't just come for him. It would have been nicer to have it in private then, and then uh, you'd have... Exactly, but then also there is a point of where it's like, me and Khaled weren't arguing until you stepped in, and then next thing you know, everyone's arguing. So I'm to blame. I'm not saying you're to blame. You're implying. Because you didn't have the context to understand it. I'm just saying, sometimes when I feel like I speak, you're so quick to just believe that I'm wrong, that like, you don't even give me the space. It is. I, I have to disagree. I, that's, not, that's not how... I've, I've not done that with it. I've not treated anybody in my life like that, never mind in this house. I'm just saying that's how I feel. I have been, and I think... And I would hope that you would be mindful now knowing that that's how I'm perceiving it. And now I've taken what you've said on board. I can go next time, as I know, like, I know Khaled knows I'm not here to attack him. I have such empathy for this position he's been in for the last few days. I've been checking on him constantly in the same way he's been supporting and checking on me. I know that. So I'm like, yes, next time I might have the conversation in private or pull him away so I can talk to him. I can take that on the chin and go, yeah, I might have not held it in the same way. But no, also I'm saying that there has been multiple occasions that I've felt that way. I've kept it to myself because I'm like, maybe it's in my head. But that moment made me feel like this is definitely not in my head. No. Uh, I reacted to what I saw and I'm not, I've, as I've made very clear in this house, I'm not an emotional person. I don't get emotional generally. But that really did hit me and I thought, but you saw something that wasn't happening, is what I'm trying to say. So you left, you left. You think like, I'm the only one that saw it that way? I do feel so. Well, you were wrong. Because you I can tell you, actually, of... you're wrong because I know other people saw it the okay, same way as me fine. and I spoke up. Okay, that's fine. So, so but that's... I could rarely get here in before. That's why Ali even stood that's, up it's, to it's try it's and easy, save the conversation. It's an easy excuse for that. It's you can go and ask Ali that because that's why Ali even got involved in the conversation. It's... She's like, she can barely say anything before something kicks off. I jumped in and I did what I felt was right, and I, I did a, there are several members of the house. Yeah, but that can't have you also recognise that you did what you felt was right? That's fine. Mm -hmm. But can't you also recognise that that upset me as well? And if you're here trying to defend someone from being upset, why doesn't you know what I mean? It's like so my upset doesn't matter to you. Like is you two? I mean, I'm just I'm just trying to understand. But you were the one that went on the front foot. But I didn't go on the front foot. And then to then to then turn around him. and say, well, I'm him. upset after you went on the front foot seems unusual. And that I did what I felt was right in that moment. You did what you felt was right in that moment. There is no pre-loaded, um, I don't even know the words I'm trying to use, but... There I is don't think about, there is though, nothing about is what I'm trying to say. Well, that's, that is very unfair because we have done nothing but got on very well, have very spirited conversations on politics. But this is what I'm trying to say. So this is why I'm like I'm having moments of where I have noticed that like it's not even you disagreeing with what I'm saying. It just feels like it's like all I can before say before I've even finished saying it. It just feels like it's a confrontation when it, like you don't even understand like the full thing of what I'm trying to say because I don't feel like I've been given a moment. All I can say is, it is unfortunate, and I, um, I'm going to want this. I apologise that you felt that way, but I have never um, intentionally cut you off or um, disagreed with you just because um, at any point in this house. The same way I've done with not, I haven't done with anyone in this house. 
we have had... I'm not saying it's just because. It just feels like there's just, many... Do you know what? It's, it's funny. Like, you, you, do, you do like to tell me how I like to cut people off, but you've cut me off a lot more than I've ever I'm cut sorry. you off. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Exactly. So, like, come on. We're, we're kind of... Okay. You're kind of preaching at me, but you're doing it. Like, g give me a chance, please. Okay. Um, I've treat treated everyone in this house in the exact same way. There is no one that I have treated badly. There is no one that I've treated differently to anyone else. Okay, I've got my people that I'm closest to. Of Everyone has, as of you. Yeah. But I absolutely cannot believe that you would try and make a point that I am, like, purposely out to I disagree never said with purposely. you. I literally said I don't think that you're intending to do this. So unintentionally, even unintentionally, why? What, what, for, for, what, for what purpose? Why? I'm here to, I'm here to get, uh, there's, there's just nothing to gain by me doing that. I, I'm, I'm baffled, if I'm honest, Dave. I'm baffled. Um, it just seems, it seems completely, a complete disproportionate response to, and to then create a scenario where I've been doing it more than once, but you've given me just one other example that you felt that way, but you didn't highlight it to me at the time. Yeah, but even like, but this is what I'm trying to say, because in my head, I felt like it's probably just me finding with someone who I might not agree with and like taking it personally, because I do know I'm hypersensitive to stuff like that. That's why I haven't said it, because I know that I'm hypersensitive. So, but that, I kind of was like, it felt very obvious that like... But also that could be your just perception again, which actually, unfortunately for you, it was just your perception again. That I don't have anything to say on that. that. That's not. That's nothing to do with me. What's to do? What, what I felt I had to jump in at was that I, it looked like he was being attacked over his wording, and it was it was unnecessary. It was uncalled for, and I didn't I like it. Doing. But that's how it looked. Okay. So maybe maybe you, maybe for next time. No, you, next you time I will take him out. Okay. And but then also I'm, I am saying like. You well, have missed the context, and whether people agree I've with not missed not. the context, and that's not that's unfair. It's, no. it's a strange route to go down that I'm missing the point, I'm missing the context. I'm not. I'm, I'm honestly, I understand everything you're saying. I just don't agree. And that's allowed. That, that is allowed. You, you're, tell, yeah. you're telling me that I've got some unconscious bias against you? Would that be fair? No. I think we'll leave it at that at the moment. I think it would be a good idea. Okay. All right. Okay. What's up, man? You wanna talk? Yeah. And at first, I was like, Days, you're probably just in your head. You're probably just in your head. It's fine. But that moment, I'm like, it's clear as fucking day to me. It feels like you'd already preempt that it was attacking a Nick Dicky Kim mm -hmm. prior. To like it even happening. Yeah, I understand. But even from my perspective, my advice would be this you put yourself in the firing line for no reason. The best thing to do, in my opinion, if you felt that way, pull him to the side in the future and have a chat with him like this. It's better. It, it, sometimes you've got to just save it. Wrong, wrong, wrong time for that. He's, yeah. he's, he was shaking when he came down. I saw his hand. I, yeah. You know, it's like too much, and he's a young man. But you're, you're a young person as well. But to be put in that situation, vilified by a big brother, he's been made to look like the bad person in the robe. And like, even I said, as he was getting up as a joke, you look like the Dark Lord, you know? It's like, it's the whole game. And I just, and I, I didn't mean that. Like, I literally I know, had a conversation I know. I know. before we all sat I, down. I so it's like, I kind of felt that like, I could just be open with him. And, and he knows that in my heart, he's I probably on edge as well. little feelings about him. Yeah. He's probably on edge as well. He got called fake yesterday. I found someone. Yeah, but I didn't call him fake. Know, I've been going to check him like, I know, at I every know. moment I can, just but to make sure he's okay. He's probably not on his best feelings right now. Do you get what I'm saying? And I think he handled it well anyway. I think you're, you're going to sit down and talk and just clear the air. You're a lovely person. He's a lovely person. All right? Yeah, because I just kind of thought, like, obviously, like, do you know, like, when you're in front of people you would consider as a friend? Mm. Like, you don't bite your lip, you just say what, what you say, and they know that for a fact that you don't mean anything against Yes, I understand, but, you know... That's what I was trying to say, and I'm sorry if it's come across in the wrong way, I didn't mean that. Don't worry about it, honestly, don't worry about it. All right, you're, gonna, you're both going to make it better, all right? And it's going to be, it's going to get like this again and again. So, just go through the emotions, feel it through, talk to Lily, whoever you need to talk. This journey might be more difficult than it be good. 
you know. But we're going to see it through like soldiers, come the other side, stronger, better. All right? We're going to learn from it. Okay? And, and if it means anything... Like, I have also noticed you being spoken over. That's why the other day at the table I was like, let day speak. You know, the thing is, like, it's just, it's just been so frustrating. And I've just been kind of taking all the chin, telling myself that I'm just trying, I'm just being oversensitive or something. And it just feels like, it's like... Days, I'm not, li listen. And I tried to say it to him, I tried to have a conversation. And he was just so, like, turned off to, like, what I was trying to say. And I was like, maybe I'm just not using the right words. Not you. Like, you are using the right words and I think like I have said from the beginning you're the most articulate person in this house by an absolute country mile like you the things you say you are so bloody smart you know like the things you do in your life have so much value like you're a person with so much integrity you're trying to say sometimes how you feel in a house full of people that are wildly extroverted and, you know, want to take up as much space as possible when actually you just want to speak but you don't want to fill the room. And unfortunately, there, you know, like there's a lot of really good talkers in the house but, like, not so many good listeners. Like, your feelings are valid. I, you're not being sensitive. It's <laughs> all I'm going to say. And there's sometimes that I've said stuff and you set up straight after me and for you it's like okay i see your point or okay i hear you and i disagree for me it's like an instant kind of like before i've even finished like what from words. everyone or from not from everyone but from nathan specifically mm -hmm. and i tried to explain how like before i kind of seen it i was like just like telling myself like oh i'm probably just being oversensitive about it whatever but like that felt like it was like just reaffirming like the multiple occasions and these two other occasions I could even just bring up instantly that this has happened before yeah and I'm trying to tell him like I just want you to just be mindful but that's the way I'm feeling mm -hmm. and he's like I'm not doing it to be malicious I'm treating you with respect all of this and I'm kind of like yeah I hear that but I don't think you're noticing like that you're doing it I'm just flagging it up that I'm noticing that and all I would like is like maybe just like if you think, like, you want to say something, just give me, like, ten extra seconds to at least see where I'm going. And he's like, but if I if I give you ten, you'll give, you want to take fifteen. Did you say that? Yeah. And then it's just there, like, I'm just there, like, and then I just like, like, dissociating, because I'm like, I'm having a conversation with you, and clearly you're not having a conversation with me. Like, even at some points, like, I was trying to bring up a point, and then he didn't even hear what I had said, before he'd gone on about something else. And I'm like, you're doing it now and you're not even noticing it. Mm -hmm. And then he's making it seem like I'm being difficult. It's some people just don't have the capacity to receive. That's not a reflection on you. Like, your feelings are 100% valid. I've noticed it, which is why the other day I literally screamed in the middle of the conversation, let days talk, because it's so infuriating. So like, don't gaslight yourself into thinking that the way Thomas you, is coming what the fuck don't gaslight yourself into thinking that you're being oversensitive you're not being oversensitive as women it's too easy to tell ourselves that that's what's happening you're not being oversensitive it's not in your head you have a right to talk I don't yeah, think it's, it's, it's not the best place to do a car sorry like you said I think it is a bit unconscious think of it to you saying something after it was suddenly like let Ali speak and like everything is fine but like for oh, me no, it's like I barely got back it's pissed off at me as well, <laughs> like me as well. Yeah, like... And you and I were saying the same thing, and you got a hug off Khaled, and I got you're a villain off Khaled. <laughs> so I think, you know, people form a view of. More confusing. I was like, what is that about? <laughs> yeah. You had days. Well, she just pulled me from a chat there and said. Is a good chat? No, what the hell? She said um, she felt like I'd viciously attacked her. No, that wasn't a vicious attack. No, like, I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. That was the one. Did you see it? Why did I jump in? No, 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 I didn't attack. Sorry, I. Is because we had a discussion yesterday about her thinking about you heard the whole thing of what happened, right? Yeah, we've heard. People asked me afterwards, how was it? How did it? She said I was fake and that. I was like, fucking viable, your opinion. I can't change your perception of me. If I think you're a twat, everything you do will feed into my perception of you being a twat. That's it. So I said that, that's calm. But then you went further and insulted me. I had a conversation with you after you spoke about it. Did I utter a bad breath about it? No. 
No. Yeah, I've been insulted in this. What I did was I took myself to bed. I read my, my prayers. I just went to bed and woke up. I'm not fucking a saint or anything, but I'm trying my hardest to be better and trying to be good. Fucking hell, I'm 23 and I have five minutes to make a fucking choice. Yeah, yeah. That's where I was going. I'm trying. I think you made this a point. Uh, Days is speaks with absolutely impeccable yeah. eloquence and grammar and everything yeah. else. Yeah. And you speak well as well, but what she's done is picked on the yeah. way you've said something. Yeah. Try and deny my feelings and not say that it felt like. Whoa, like coming from left field. So, all I'm asking is, so you do stand by that point? And you, Can you, you see, like, how it feels like you're trying to put words in my mouth? Mm. No, no, I didn't need to. You said that. I don't need to put words in your mouth. That's what you said. But I'm trying to say that maybe vicious wasn't the right word, but it felt very intense to me. So you would take vicious back then? Yes, if that's what uh, you would like. Uh, I, I know what I would like. It says, uh, uh, Maybe I use the wrong words. Yeah, because I like, obviously so. that we're having a heightened chat. I might have used the wrong words, but I was just saying it felt really intense. And I'd already been having like feelings that I'd been like bottling up, not because it's your fault, that's on me. There were moments of where I felt like I wasn't really like being like absolutely heard. I'm not saying it's your intent to do so. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying it's intentional. Is the thing about the vicious attack, is that what happened in the living room? Yes. Okay. Um, go on, sorry, Kyle. Yeah, I mean, look, it's... I understand why you're upset by the language, because Absolutely. I... Yeah, but I didn't experience it as a vicious attack, I'm personally. Leave you to it, I'm um, it falls off. But equally, like, I have noticed more than one occasion now where <clears throat> Dave has been trying to speak and you have spoken over her. And I don't at all perceive that as an attack, but just not giving her room to speak sometimes. I think she had ample opportunity to speak during that there with Khaled. Mm. And I think I could have given another 10 minutes before jumping in and it would have still been the same reaction that I was cutting in. Mm. I felt the need to cut in because I felt like it wasn't the place, it wasn't the time and it wasn't right, the words that you were saying to him. Um, so I, I, that, that's that more than entitled to jump in at that point. That's not cutting somebody off. Well, that is yeah. cutting somebody off, but it's not cutting somebody off because I don't want to listen to them is cutting somebody off because what was happening and what was being said was, in my eyes, incorrect. Yeah. Which but, is, is different. But some people are don't allowed like the cut. floor and are allowed to talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and people just sit there and nod. And, you know, so Days wanted to use a bit of time to also speak, so she hasn't had that opportunity very many times. So... I've just got to disagree. I can't say anything other than that I disagree. Yeah, Simple as that. I think, I think I've given everybody, I've listened to everybody in this house with intent. I, I give everybody a chance to speak equal. I treat everybody in this house the exact same way. People I'm closer to, people I'm not so close to, absolutely everyone's the same. I give everyone the chance. That's, that's not my nature. It's not what I've done with anyone. It's not what I would ever do with anyone. So I don't think that's fair. I know, I don't think you're purpose I don't think you are purposefully singling days out. No. I just think that in there's something in the group dynamic that gives permission to some pe- for some people to speak and speak and speak and other people less so. And some people do dominate. Probably myself in- included. People do give me space to talk. Okay. Like more so than maybe days sometimes. People give Khaled sp- space to talk and talk but and talk. But that's not on me. Talk. No, but I think it's okay to acknowledge that maybe it was okay for days to talk and talk and talk and talk a little bit. I don't think it was at that point. Mm. I think it was. I think it was unfair. He was standing there in a room full of people, um, and he was being um, questioned on his word choice. And how I put it is this: that days and you fall into this category as well. You're both extremely articulate in how you word things. You're very careful. You word things correctly, ninety nine point nine percent of the time. Mm. I'm not saying Carla doesn't. But I'm saying you may not be quite as able to do that as you two are. Therefore, to... And I, I can only use the word nitpick. It might be wrong, but I'm going to use it. Nitpick on his... OK, I'll hold them back up. Go on, don't play with me. Serious. I love you, you know. I'll tell you. I'm a, I'm, don't worry, I'm going to follow you. I do have some, but I'll follow you. There's only a couple of joggers. Yeah? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've got this vest. I've got one under this. I'm going to put it in. I haven't done that. If I haven't, I've... I know, oh, yeah. I don't, like, again, I I get their point, but I don't think Khaled could have handled that better. Imagine you were standing up there. Huh? And imagine you were standing where he was. It's awful. Nominating someone, yeah. and, then, and then someone was nitpicking at the ones you choose. 
But yeah, how but I, would have, I wouldn't have even been able to string a fucking sentence exactly. together. Exactly. I mean, I'm struggling just to talk like to about people it. in the house, <laughs> just about random shit. I'm like, <laughs> literally, let alone standing in front of everyone. Jesus Christ, I would have fucking thrown up, I think. Yeah. So. That's why I thought it right. I'm like, no, don't, don't have a pop at them because, like, all she got them to. What are you saying? No, thank you, Emma, though. Didn't, I just didn't like it and I just butted in and said that I thought it wasn't right. I thought it wasn't right what she was doing and what she was saying. She was nitpicking because she's extremely articulate, which is absolutely fine, but expecting him to be the exact same and be word perfect in what yeah. he said. And like, then she said, no, I wasn't nitpicking, but then proceeded to tell me that um, she would have, all she wanted him to do was instead of saying um, it was fair to say, I believe it was fair. So she wanted him to add two words and then she'd have been happy. And yeah, I'm like, well, no, that's, that's, that's isn't that picking then? Yes. Isn't that picking that is fine? I think she's, I think she's well said. I think done. She's like, I mean, I wasn't there, but from, I think she has a motive. Yeah, yeah which we try to give a grace for. I think anyone that stands up their opinion, whether it's you or the other side, I think fair, fair fucks, because it takes yeah. a lot to speak. It takes oh. a lot of balls to speak off what you believe in, whether it's one side or the other. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I personally don't have a horse in the race, because I, like, I feel like if you're not there, it's not to make a decision. Yeah, yeah. I'm in the race, I like that. I think fair plays both anyone to speak up, because I struggle to speak up, so, yeah. Yeah. No, I'll always speak up for what. If I think something's wrong and I think something's right, I'll, I'll speak up for that. Yeah, past. I don't think you were rude at all. I'm definitely what I'm, like, I'm yeah, in that. That was quite tame for you, I think. Yeah, yeah. Like, because like, I know who I'm doing. Do you know what I mean? I, 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 I respect mm -hmm. you massively. You, like, you've got from here to here for me, I'll be honest. Yeah. Because he's just, the way you put it, it was good. Yeah. It was good. Right. And to be fair, it's hard because sometimes if, someone, if someone's emotive and if it's an emotional and then you're the one that's like telling them something that is refuting their point, yeah. you kind of almost can be villainised. Exactly, which, which I would, because she said, so I yeah. yeah, so I actually appreciate you for standing up for that because you can come across as like, you're the bad guy, yeah. someone's crying, having a mad moment, yeah. you're not giving them grace. But at the same time, it, it needs to be said. Yeah, and, it did. and that's the trigger. That's the trigger. So I respect you for doing that as hard as it was, as hard as for everyone else to see you doing yeah. that yeah. and what they're thinking of you. And they have it in like I always respect you, bro. I respect you for real. No. Yeah. And then no, I was just I was more pissed off actually when I had the conversation with her and she said like um, she made out that I had a subconscious bias towards her, always cut her off, don't listen to anything she has to say, and that but there was a vicious attack. Vicious. Like the one there was one thing I was like, saying, like Whoa. Oh, I can't ever cut get a word in, but no one was even cutting her. Yeah. I didn't I didn't understand that a bit. That, that must be maybe it must be derived from previous stuff that's happened yeah. with other people beforehand. Yeah. But in that conversation, I think she's reverting to the task we had in the garden when she was trying to talk and she felt like she wasn't heard. Yeah, that just happened. Yeah, that happened. Yeah. Did that happen? Yeah. Was it me that cut off? No, no, no. Everyone was talking. Oh, right, I see. Right, right. Not wasn't you. Yeah, they had all fucking big characters. Yeah, large, large. Like, really? Life. Yeah. Very large. Um, maybe personalities. So, well, I don't know. No, I think you're right, man. I'd, I'd walk in my chest held high, man, and shoulders back, yeah. because... I, yeah, you, no, yeah. I don't, yeah, I think a lot of people respect what you did as well, not, not just us saying that. You know? I actually felt like, honestly, actually, that's about the closest I felt to emotion in months. Like, yeah. I, I just saw him standing there and I thought, like, I was 30, 23, and I know I'm 24, but he's 23. 23 years old. Standing there, like, so vulnerable at that point, and then to get kind of... Strangers, yeah. Like, yeah. Met a week ago. And then somebody having a pop at oh, him, I'm like... Yeah, man. Yeah, like yeah. He's had six days well. to make a decision yeah. on day seven. Someone, yeah. In fact... Like, you just like, oh, you know... If, no, if, if, if everyone had the mindset of it's a game and what didn't get emotional and we all took nothing seriously and nothing to heart, they, they, this wouldn't exist. This mm. program wouldn't exist. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's the whole thing. It's a social experiment, human emotion. And if you take all the emotion out of it, it's not. It's not. No, it's not. It's not what it is. That's what, that's what exactly. it is. It's called value. It's, it's human emotion. It's when we laugh. It's when we cry. It's when we this. It's when we that. And if there's no human emotion, like who wants to watch 14 people be like cool? Cool, it's not that deep. Exactly, and that's as the thing. As, as much as the way you feel uncomfortable, I don't want anyone, obviously, especially like people like, close to, to cry. It is kind of like... No, I just no, feel I know, I'm saying, I, just... I know what I'm trying to say, but... <laughs> no, yeah, I was just crying. I was saying, I want you like, to cry. i just already been feeling so overwhelmed, and it was just like that last tiff, and then, like, also not feeling like I was, like, you know, like... It was only, like, when Ali came, she was like, yeah, I get where you're coming from, and I... And then it's like, oh, okay, I feel validated again. It's like, it just feels like you're living in this, like, weird like world of where like what you're seeing is just like not what everyone else is seeing and you're the only one that's seeing it and everyone else is not seeing it and it starts to make you feel like am i going mad 
I know I felt that earlier today when I was in the dorm. I was like, I feel like everyone's coping with this really well apart from me. If I'm the only one struggling. Oh, like, babe. Other people are struggling. Okay, yeah. now, <laughs> but I was just like, so I felt that a lot because I obviously, I didn't realise my narrative was going to be like the top crier. But when I'm like that, I'm like, what? Like, exactly, I'm like, going <laughs> like, I was like, why is no one else freaking out? Why is no one else doing this? And then I, like, then I don't know. I, I was close second to Freezing it after. What, and then you would just eat it like a snack? Is it like, yeah, it comes out, I've never done it before. Just You're like, having so much fun in it, cooking. I love it, I love cooking. It's like literally my favourite thing to do. When I think about cooking, I get excited. I just noticed that with the roast chicken today. Do you try my roast? Any of the potatoes? I didn't see them. I only, saw, I only saw the ones that were in with the chicken. Did it, did it all get Go on, everyone loved it. Oh, I'm happy for you. <laughs> <laughs> She is funny sometimes. <laughs> She's just jealous. I am jealous. Jeal of me. I'm jealous that I can't. My cello, something that you need to understand. Is that <laughs> we're all a little bit jealous of you. Oh, thank you. Finally, someone who's honest in this house. <laughs> well, okay, I think clearly. Clearly. <laughs> clearly. Oh, man. I think today is a sassy feeling, tomorrow's going to be a sad feeling. Wow. Guys, we don't even know when it's going to happen, so... Do you know what I mean? I got, I got a feeling it'll be midweek, to be honest, like a Wednesday. I don't think so. I, aren't, the, aren't the evictions always on Fridays? No, but think about it. There's 15 people in the house. It's five weeks left. Yeah. So they need to get people moving, I guess. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Not in a bad way, but I do feel like they need to start moving people. Yeah. Lily. Ah. Whoa, oh, it's a new level. That's a new level. Go look at yourself like that. Oh my god. Look at this. Look at your creation. My, ah. my creation? Your fellow woman. Yeah. I didn't birth her. Oh no. I think after Stop. meeting you, my ick level has gone boom and it's come back down, so I've got more patience with women. To be but gross. do you know what? The women can. Third day, that's all me. No, I no, come no, in waves. No, 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 I, I get that completely. Me too. But, but, but you never seen that side of me, and that's what I mean. Like, I feel like days have seen that side of me. I think Which Ali is unfortunate. I'll tell you why. Well, I'll tell you why it's unfortunate because obviously, in that sense, it's like I think a lot of people haven't seen that side of you upstairs mm. personally. And I think yeah. that side of you is such a nice side of you that obviously, not saying the other what side, side is, is this. Hold on, hold on. The, the, that side of you is not. Um, not as been seen where you were quite down to earth in sense of like you were able to speak to people, open openly question or have conversations. That was beautiful. Oh, thank you, Is. Generally, I love that about you. What side is this? You know I mean? It's me being a... Um, no, I don't... It's, it's her putting yes. a guard down, that's what I think. Yes, yes, I think... That's what I think. That. Yeah, I mean... What I'm saying, like, I'm not saying that I agree with Ali. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Kelly, no, I don't get that at least you say what you have to say. It, but that's how she's going about it. Okay, is that you feel? Yeah. delivery, I okay. think, yeah. Yeah, that's what I can do my side. And I think that arguing, again, I don't know all the technical terms, but I'm thinking that argument about how, well, like, how the debate, the argument about how the debate, and I think. Yeah. Because she feels like she doesn't get a, to speak when Nathan speaks. They started arguing over what happened down there. Yeah. Do you I know think, what it is? I think people are looking too deep into this and just let it be. Like, just let it be, because then yeah. we just crack on with it. I think they're, they're, they're trying to make an argument out of nothing, which is really, like, confusing to me. I understand Nathan was stuck. <laughs> yeah. That's what it is. Um, I just didn't think it was right. I just, I said it. I just, all I did. I just, the only thing that really made me nervous was when she said, she said it was a bit of a Like, she felt like it was a bit of a I'm like, shut up, don't be silly. I didn't say that, obviously, but I thought that. I'm like, that's just ridiculous. Like, vicious. <laughs> <laughs> like, so I feel like saying, I feel like saying, vicious. Like, look at me. <laughs> I'm orange. <laughs> like, I've been ignored. Um, what was I saying? What was I saying now? Can't even remember. But, I was asking if you were right. Yeah, of course I'm all right. Like, yeah, I thought I was wrong. It's definitely not. Yeah, but you, yeah. No, like, I just, I don't know. I, d I didn't expect it to be 
invested that much in anyone coming in here. There's no before coming in, I thought, like, here you see it. And I was like, oh, I'll be like friends and that. And um, I didn't expect I would be. But then, no, I have been. And then in that moment, I just thought, I just really caught me because I thought, no. And that guy's, like, I know I'm only 24, but he's 23, standing up there, doing such a fucking difficult thing. And I just didn't like, like the clothes out of him. So I just thought, no, don't do that. That's like what you... Oh, God. That's exactly what happened. And that's what I said to her. I said, listen, I said, whether I'm right or whether I'm wrong, I'll always stand up for what I believe is right in that yeah, situation. Right. And she said, yeah, you didn't know the context behind it. Me and Khaled are really good friends. We had a chat yesterday. I said, I said well, I said, well, that's fine. I said, well, you should have had that chat with them in private then, not yeah. in front of 12 other people yeah. who didn't know the context yeah. but could only see what was in front of them, yeah. which looked like you were just attacking them. Yeah. Um, yeah, and, yeah. She's, and I said that she was nitpicking with the language that um, she was saying, like, he didn't get the word right, and I said, you're nitpicking? She said, I'm not nitpicking. And then eventually we got down to what the problem was, and she said, yeah, I just feel he should have said, instead of, um, it's fair, I believe it's fair, so you should have added him, I believe. So I was like, well, you are nit nitpicking yeah, then. That yeah, is yeah, nitpicking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, he didn't have a speech right like, Of course he didn't. He had to just fucking go with what he got. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? That's rough for anyone to do. Like, I wouldn't have been able to do that. No, like, do you know what I mean? And, like, and the thing for me is that Daisy's is so articulate. She gets a point across so well, similar to Ali. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That They're very intelligent. Hot chocolate. It's like, what are you doing that for, Emma? I just fancied a bit of hot chocolate and I thought the kids might need some to calm down. Ah. Uh, Do you know what I mean? Hot chocolate doesn't really cut it. Whiskey. Me whiskey would be nice. A bit of Bailey's in this would be nice. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. I love hot chocolate with a bit of Bailey's in it. Yeah, I like Bailey's. And fresh cream. I don't fresh need no hot chocolate. <laughs> Yeah, it's nice. Bit of nice. fresh cream in it. Oh, I'm glad you're here, Emma. Oh, you look. I'm oh, glad you're here. I am. Not so keen on you, Dean, but I was like, fuck my drag, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I'm my bread's bad, bitch. <laughs> oh, God. What a night. I don't know. What a day. I'm glad it's all out in the open now. I wouldn't have liked to have been exposed, though, and then show our nominations and stuff. No, I wouldn't have at all. That just shows, like, how... Remember when that task we were saying about Big Tatty? Mm. Like, if she'd had every nomination, would have been public. Oh. Like, and I, at the time, remember, we were saying, oh, they've just done it. Like, why not just do it? But now, the now I'm doing it today. Just thinking, no, oh, actually, yeah. that would have been horrific. And do you know what? I respect that she knows herself enough to say no. No. Like, because that would have been fucking insane. Yeah. I wouldn't have done that. But how much she, she struggled actually nominating, but imagine if she had to nominate knowing that we'd all see it. Like, that would have been, yeah. That would have been... What a drink that's not water. Yeah! I hate water. I'm saying mizzles. What is mizzles again? Miserable. Miserable asshole. Miserable asshole. Oh, miserable. 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 Makes sense. Makes sense. Have you been able to like have like a chat with him separately yeah, to like clear the air? No. Oh. Do you like? To... <laughs> well, you're not comfortable okay. with doing so. I need to have a think about that. I'm yeah. not. Sure. I don't know if like things have gone a bit too far now. I don't think it has because at the end of the day, if I'm doing. I don't even know what that is. Thomas, I'm not going to lie to you. The day <laughs> sit, the day will always end. I mean, I've not seen it in a good few hours. Yeah. Like the day will happen. Hello. Shit will go on, shit's going to intensify the more that stuff happens, regardless of the day. I know, I need to, I just literally couldn't find it for the whole day, I'm not going to lie to you. You need to off, I'm going to go for another one. I think we all have a chance. Like, the day will end and a new day will start. As far as if yeah. you're an understanding oh, person, oh. he's an understanding person, regardless at the end of the day. Even though, like, for example, outsiders' perspective might come off as in, like, vindication or whatnot, but if you have, like, a private chat with him, and then after that, just, like, you, you'll probably need time to think to yourself and, like, think, OK, how am I going to phrase this so shit doesn't come off wrong? Because, for, personally, for me, if I'm being honest with you, like, if I have a conversation with someone off the bat, I'm going to say some wild shit, literally, and people's definition of wild is very different. Do you know what I'm saying, basically? So my person, personal definition of wild is like, I might say some 
offside red card type of stuff basically but then after I need time to just think about it and see okay how am I going to approach the situation in regards to that the thing the thing is I've tried and I don't to feel that type of person I, I would never like I'm never gonna like it doesn't matter what happens yeah you will never see me ever lose my temper yeah. in this house no yeah way. not gonna be like I'm that's just not not it's gonna not your nature not gonna have an argument with yeah like that but all that's going to happen if I talk to Khaled privately yeah. is that I'm going to say to him, this is another example of something that I think is false. Mm. And he's just going to say, no, it isn't. Uh, yeah. That's all you that's going to happen. feel like it's a roundabout circle then, like all that's going to revolve in door. Yeah. And, you know, yesterday when we spoke about it, at, at a point I just had to say, like, I just had to call time on the conversation mm. because this is what I think. This is yeah. what I've seen. You have a right to defend yourself. You've yeah. done so. I've heard you. I yeah. still don't change my view. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. And I'm not going around yeah. everybody in the house saying, like, these are all the things that I've seen. Yeah. Valid. Yeah. You're not listing them out because, yeah. Because even the chat when we had upstairs is something that you was pondering about to yourself for a bit, basically. Yeah. I don't, I don't need to, like, go around every single housemate and say, these are all the things that I've seen in Canada yeah. that do not sit right with me. But mm. there are many things. 